I'd say the socialism we practice in this house, like I really like it because of the way we share money and some things in the house, but compared to what a lot of us did on our gap years we spent in Israel, that was a lot more intense, like we shared much more of our lives together. So over time I've seen that like, not only can you live with it, but also like the really extremes of it, like being, it can be really intense or not as intense, but still benefit. I love living this way. All of us kind of grew up like this a little bit, not necessarily in our households with our families, but uh, got a little little taste of the lifestyle every summer. We are really only monetarily socialist, and I before lived like with my whole body and emotions being socialist, if that makes sense. Like putting in not only my money and like living emotionally socialistically. So this is different and then it's monetary pretty much exclusively. So I guess I first started learning about socialism at a uh, summer camp. Um, I went to like a, a Jewish socialist labor Zionist summer camp starting when I was like 10 years old. Um, and there we, everything was like kind of shared, like everybody in the mornings took part in uh, taking care of the camp and everything. Um, and then we had like educational activities where they explained like, oh, this is what socialism is sort of. I think over time, I've become a little more jaded about it. And like, I think it works really well on a small scale, like in this house, um, but on a much bigger scale, it's a lot more difficult to, to make it successful. Um, like I think it works really well in our house because like all uh, six of us grew up with each other for the most part and grew up in the same sort of structure and environment so we know what we all expect of each other but if you put it on like a national scale it's a lot different. I just like really dug the vibe that like socialism gives off and just like I love sharing with other people and like being able to do that in a house like this. I definitely feel like I've grown closer to everyone and it's been really nice to like see people grow up and like who they've become after all these years after knowing them for like 10 years, 10, 13 years, I guess. I think living together with people is hard anyway, and it's something that takes getting used to. And then when you add like sharing money in addition to sharing space, it's also hard. But I like to think that instead of like having our separate money, it makes it easier that we all have shared food. Because food was a big thing when I was at Penn State that was like a sketchy thing with my roommates. So it's so nice to have that you know we can all share food we can all do whatever for, for me definitely and i think for the other people in the house it's become almost the our preferred way of living uh just because we feel that we can have a, a bigger impact on sort of the the world and each other by living this way it's more communal it's more personal i think we we build stronger relationships by living this way and we're more able to connect with one another